Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name is Kat and I have a junk journal to show you today. Look at this pretty tassel that hangs on it. it has some beads, some fibers, some strings. It's covered in fabric. The, look at the top, look at all that goodness poking out. It's held together with a chain and these little bow clips, a few little gems. It's also adjustable as your journal gets bigger. You can take out these links and make it bigger. Here's the side, isn't that pretty? All right, let's take a peek. All right, so we open it up and of course you see peeking out here is my signature paper doily. We have a pocket here. This pocket made is, is made out of a piece of cardboard covered in some scrap fabric glued on here to create a pocket. There's a pocket behind here as well that holds this cute little notebook. A couple pages in there that just tacks right up the front. Here we have some fun paper ribbon going down this side with a fun flower embellishment. It's actually an envelope that has a cute little note card in there. There's that beautiful paper doily. Here's a pretty piece of scrapbook paper where you can glue things on, photos, or you can even write on it with black. Here we have some sewn uh, scrap ribbon and just made into something pretty to go down the sides. Here we have this really pretty page with purples and a fussy cut butterfly from a piece of scrapbook paper. Here he has some more tags in the pockets and is topped off with some vintage ribbon. Here between the page is just a sentiment here with a pretty flower and leaf that I have purchased at Hobby Lobby. It's a vintage greeting card here that I have included. Here's a collage of some um, paper flags I have created and edged and you can take that out and there's lines on the back. It'd be really, really cute as a bookmark as well. You can list all the books that you've read on the back of it. Here's some flowers that I have plucked off of some a dollar store bouquet and just uh, put a little gold center. Here's a beautiful blue page with some silvery ribbon going down the side. Some journal pages here on some stained paper. Oops, my little dragonfly was hanging on. Okay, so we have a beautiful pocket here with some shiny paper. This is just so pretty. Some collaging and a few tags in here for journaling as well. Oh, this is a tag too. And that's just hold, held on with an altered paper clip. Some fussy cut butterflies up here. Some more metallic ribbon. Some interesting border here. There's also a little charm hanging on there. Kind of shiny, I like it. Journaling card. Another place for you to put a photo or newspaper print or tickets or anything like that. Tuck in there a program of some sort that you might have received. Beautiful doily, another journaling spot here. Oh dear. Some pretty paper. I just love this fibery paper. Here we have a pocket with a collage of ribbon scraps, flower with a, a flat back jam in there. Here we have a, a journaling spot that's held in place with an altered paper clip. It's more beautiful scrap of paper. Um, here, this has a pocket here with a little notebook inside. That just tucks right in there. And this pulls out as well for another journaling spot. It's some cute coordinating ribbon. This is just some scrap ribbon that I had received off of a gift and I just turned into a ribbon and stuck it on the side of this page. 
one is a um what do you call it? dollar tree embellishment that came in a pack and some pretty paper and tucked in here's a little score sheet a little bit of fabric ribbon look how beautiful that looks look at the colors isn't that pretty some blank space for you to create your own Here's some yellow flowers because I've been loving using yellow in my journals. They're ju it's just such a happy color, I think. A journaling card here, some graph paper, little paper flowers in the corners. This is some fabric, it's a little bit metallic. And I just made ribbon out of that and adhered it to the side. A few more rest pages for journaling. There's a lot of purple on this one, huh? This was just a cluster that a cousin, my cousin had created and sent it to me. And it was going perfect with this layout. Here we have a couple little spots with some backwards journaling spots in it. Here, I'll turn this around so you can see. There we go. Got some journaling spots tucked in there. Here's another pocket. More journaling places. Make lists. Take notes. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Everywhere's pockets. Pretty purple. Some music paper. Here is a bookmark that I've had for a hundred years. I freaking love books. Me too, man. Yep, that's a bookmark. I've had it forever. And now it can be yours. All right, some scrap ribbon going down the side here. Here's some bows. I just love these bows. I've had these, you know, the little ribbon bows. You just have them. You don't know what to do with them. Now I use them all the time. I'm so happy I saved them. Here's some more, another spot for you to be creative with your own pages. Lots of journaling space for your own drawings or whatever you like to do. Some journaling tags tucked in here. Tag pocket, tag pocket. Little notebook here. Tuck that in the bucket. There's some more. There's another little notebook there. Oh, here, it's not done yet. There's another one. Cool, huh? More paper, or more flowers I plucked off of Dollar Tree bouquets. And I put little flat back gems. I probably got those at the Dollar General, or Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree, whatever it is, that at the Dollar Store. Look at this fun tassel ribbon. Ooh, yeah, I love that. I'm going to use more of that more often in my books. I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. Sorry, I just got excited. Some cool metallic trim going down the side. Ooh, some shiny embellishments. And look at I put some shiny. I was playing with some metallic like wax crayons. And I just did a little bit of edging around the sides here. Here's some cool stamps from somewhere else. <laughs> yes, and then here we have that cool fabric that was just like, yeah, trim, cool trim of some sort. Put it on the edge there. I thought it looked pretty cool. Just stuck a little tag. No, no, it's a little, little booklet here for you to write on. Some more vintage music. And then here is the back cover of the book, but we still put a little bit of journaling space on that too. And a little spot for you to put some photographs if you want. What a fun journal. I love the colors in this. This is probably one of my more favorite journals that I've ever done. And I hope this inspired you in some way, even just to mix up the way that you do journals or the color schemes that you go with or anything like that. If you found inspiration at all, please like my video 
and subscribe if you have any questions or if there's anything or any color schemes you would like me to do you just let me know down in the comments thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you in my next video bye